Ministry uh, actually came out to say that the DSS were aware of Hantami's extremist beliefs and they uh, took this information to the National Assembly and also the federal government before Pantami's confirmation as a uh, minister back in 2019. Uh, but apparently the government still decided to go ahead to confirm his um, position as minister. Uh, all speaking of the House of Assembly, uh, there was a particular uh, House Rep, my, minority leader of the House Reps, Ulidi Ilumelu, on Wednesday, he tried to urge the House to demand the resignation or the sack of the Minister of Communications, uh, Isa Pantami. Uh, and uh, unfortunately for him, the Speaker, uh, Femi Gwaja Biamila, <laughs> overruled the minority leader, noting that uh, Ilumelu came under the matter and the matter being raised had nothing to do with his privilege as a lawmaker because that is how he stated uh, what he, his order that he wanted to bring to the House. And uh, all of us have been asking since, what is the presidency saying? Um, when there was, there was an FEC meeting, I think, was it two days ago? And um, Lai Mohammed was asked what the presidency's stance was on you know, this issue. And Lai Mohammed said that Pantami was not on the agenda for the meeting. They didn't discuss it at all. <laughs> but like, oh, it's interesting. So we were like, so really, no, no. is our president not going to say anything Listen, until yesterday? Girl, girl, before you speak what Gabba <laughs> said. I don't know to what extent you see self-preservation playing a role <laughs> in everybody's in favor. But I think that Illuminu guy is quite brave. Yeah. Because if somebody is allegedly <coughs> having ties with extremists, I don't think you want to say your mind to that person. You don't want him to call your, call his friends or you. <laughs> You're like, what do you think of it? Well, it is it is above your pay grade. We don't, we are not talking about. <laughs> I understand. Oh, also, did you see um, there was a video of, um, uh, I'm trying to remember his name. Let me quickly uh, see if I can pull that up. There was a video of him basically saying that we are at fault for Pantami rising to, uh, you know, become the minister as well. Because uh, if the DSS knew about this information, that what happened to the 180 million Nigerians that we should have known um, as well. And we uh -huh. should have spoken out against it. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm trying to look for his name. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw this yesterday, I was like, You see what I'm saying? Aha, yes. <laughs> Yusuf Gagadi, yes, the <laughs> chairman of the committee of House of Reps on Navy. <laughs> he actually said it in this particular video. <laughs> I to play the video. You want me to play the video now for you to hear what he said? I mean, let the people hear it. <laughs> right. I mean, let people hear it. I mean, let people hear it. I mean, let's go. Let's go. I mean, will never get every information about every individual information. <clears throat> because the mass is not we don't have the capacity to know everything about me. So if it's what the DSS know that they recommend it. And if it's simply what the National Assembly saw that they recommend it. And if you want to hold DSS and National Assembly responsible, what of you as an individual, over 180 million Nigerians, hey. you were unable to, the announcement was made, the man was presented to the floor of the Senate. He was screened, and no individual out of over 180 million Nigerians was able to remember that comment made to write petition to the National Assembly for them to act or not to act. So if National Assembly should be held responsible, or the DSS, the people of this country should equally be held responsible. I believe you, Sufi Jagadi. I believe this man. <laughs> it's true, because all of us, we... That's all, we uh, we know we, we know uh, Drake Drake Child Betty. We know Je what Jay Z said two, two months ago. We know uh, Beyonce uh, uh, skincare routine, but we don't know what our communication minister said years ago in a private meeting. I, 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 you Nigerians, you Nigerians. I, I mean this. I mean we are yeah. I, I mean. <laughs> I, I, me, I'm speechless now. Okay, I'm so speechless. Let's, let's bring the latest um, information to light. So we were asking for a speech or some sort of statement from the presidency, <laughs> and uh, Garba Shehu, who is the official spokesperson to the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So we believe that anything he says relating to Nigeria is speaking in, in capacity Girls, of the presidency. So all you need now so, in this country, <laughs> I realize this room, it was look at Shikau. Mm. They've killed him more than ten times. He's still alive. Mm. Nobody says anything bad about that guy. Mm. I mean, 
they will say Boko Haram this. Boko, I've never seen any news where somebody says something bad about Shekau. Mm. Like directly insulted him or mm. called him ignorant, illiterate. I will deal with that Shekau. Mm. Everybody will say, I will. <laughs> let's hear the presidential logic. Let's, let's hear what Baba ah. Shiro decided to put on his Twitter handle, on the official Twitter handle last night at 8.27. Today, there is an unfortunate fashion in public discourse mm -hmm. that makes leaders in politics, religion, and civil society liable in the present for every statement they have ever made in the past, Ooh. no matter how long ago, and even after they have later rejected them. <clears throat> This insidious phenomenon <sighs> seeks to cancel the careers of others on the basis of a thing they have said, regardless of when they said it. <clears throat> the Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, as Dr. Issa Pantami, no is wonder they've been increasing money of everything in the communication. Subject to a cancel campaign instigated by those who seek his removal. Wow. They do not really care what he may or may not have said some 20 years ago. That is merely the instrument they are using to attempt to cancel him. Cancel is in quotes. And they will profit should he be stopped from making decisions that improve the lives of everyday Nigerians. The minister mm. has rightly apologized for what he said in the early 2000s. Apology the accepted. were absolutely unacceptable back then and would be equally unacceptable today. Were he to repeat them. Apology but accepted. He said, he said, My two hands are up. He said, were he to repeat them. But you are not fit to be minister. But he will not repeat them. I said, apology accepted. <laughs> but we are honored, as that guy said, we are honored 80 million Nigerians. Can't we find the one that has not given extremist views? See, clearly not. As soon as you have given extremist views, whether you back away from them or not, you are no longer liable to be a minister of a country, mm -hmm. to be a governor, to hold any public office. By that, you're extremist. Because, okay, you even though we agree, even, even, allowed to get well, to that even though we agree that you're not an ex extremist, mm. if there's such a thing as an ex extremist, mm. okay, you, have a, you are no longer, because we are not sure. Exactly. Just because this is too sensitive, it's because. But Sharon, what do, you, what do you expect from a country that forgives people who have literally bombed and kidnapped and killed other citizens? You know, you you, I mean, you know, uh, this is, this is, um, uh, a regular thing in the circle of religious power and political power mm. you know in the name of religion people can commit all sorts of atrocity mm. and they get amnesty and all sorts mm. but you cannot commit atrocity in your own name say you are hungry now mm. you go and steal where is the amnesty there it's 20 years in prison mm. nobody will ever say amnesty this man was hungry mm. you understand you God sent you people stole me. phone they are still in Kirikiri, five years awaiting mm. trial. Uh, just because they steal some things from fence, all those petty crimes. But you commit big crime. Mm. Petawan. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Then you sprinkle some religion on top. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, know, you put some uh, you put some political mm. rhetoric. You yeah, for garnishing. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> Immediately, you know, you the people will start talking left and right instead of you know, me I don't really believe in cancel culture quite alright. Yeah. But Council culture is not political ideology. Okay. What we are discussing here is political ideology. Mm -hmm. Somebody held extremist political ideology. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Based on those views, you understand? Mm. I'm not saying council or no council, but you are not fit to be in a, a position. I'm of not saying you are a good person or a bad person. I don't even believe in good or bad people. Me, I'm an embodiment of the good and the bad. Everything is balanced. I try to balance myself out. Mm. That's all. So I'm not saying Patami is good or bad. I might meet the guy, I might even like the guy. Mm. I meet him as a human being. Mm -hmm. But he's not fit for office. The word fit here is the operative. Is it a verb or a noun who use it as? Yeah. Both, I think. I mean, is the operative word, Sha. Mm. Fit. He is not fit for that position. Mm -hmm. Because number one, if he was a genius now, for example, that oh, <coughs> this man is writing codes and revolutionizing our communications industry with his policy. Oh, oh, that's what you say. But according to Garba Sheo, yes, all discerning Nigerians, I've skipped a few tweets, um, know this uh, manufacturer's dispute is nothing to do with the minister's prior words. 
uh, he goes on to say, yes, the minister has been leading the charge against illegal data deductions and pricing. He has revolutionized the government's virtual public engagement to respond to COVID-19 and save taxpayers money. He has established ICT startup centers to boost youth entrepreneurship well, and it, create jobs. Well, I guess my, well, he, I guess my standards, exactly. I guess my standards <laughs> are higher than Gabashiu standards. Oh, he's saying that uh, Man, I'm this man has standards. done so much I'm in the, in the communication sector. I'm using the Shonkuti standards. Yeah. Mm. Nigeria still pay the highest for data per capita in the world. And the data isn't so great? No, we pay per highest data per, per capita. A friend of mine has been trying to do an interview with me on my phone since yesterday. Or my let me not name the net MTN the phone or my MTF. I might not pay, I'm paying for it and it's not working. Let me name it. Uh, and it did not work since yesterday. You know, I know Nigerians love this privatization. I, when they don't always say, oh, oh, private sector is the solution, private sector is the solution. Yeah. I'm like, private sector runs everything in Nigeria. What yeah. is working? What is working? What is working properly? Yeah. So, for Gabashil standards. Yeah. We agree. It is great. Mm -hmm. But for me, mm -hmm. I don't agree. I don't think he's doing enough. He's not revolutionizing anything. And even if he was, keep him as your personal advisor. Exactly. Don't give him Let minister. Him be a consultant. Because he's not fit. He's just not fit. It's like saying you want to use an ex arm robber as mm -hmm. minister of finance mm -hmm. because he has served his time. You understand? In a country that if if we are uh, law abiding in this country, Extremism and hate are crimes. They are yeah. crimes in the modern world. They are they actually, crimes in this country. Actually, yeah. You understand? So, people that are openly committed such, it's really okay that they occupy government office, but ex-cons have always occupied high offices in Nigeria. So, mm. who is saying this? This is what Gab, maybe that's what Gabashi is saying. Like, he's not the first criminal mm -hmm. in office. Mm -hmm. What was all this noise? Mm -hmm. I mean, Buruju Kashamu was a senator in the judge today. He died mm -hmm. with arrest warrant on his head like this. America are looking for him. <laughs> so, and uh, nobody said Buruju Kashamu should leave the Senate. It's true. I mean, so. Actually, you're right. So, I can I understand there. But we are saying, fit. We are now saying, okay, when are we going to change the narrative? Mm -hmm. Abi, when are we going to change the narrative? Is this same APC that protected Buruju Kashamu? By saying it was PDP government, it's in PDP. When the PC enter, the PC enter, it still stay there. Nothing change. It's true now. Because APC and PDP are two sides of the same. Thing. Exactly, you know. So this is what I'm saying. You know, so they might be seen as a personal attack in Nassau Rock. Mm. You understand? But the people that are speaking up are speaking up for this country. Yeah. The government is the face of this country. Mm -hmm. We have to always put our first best foot forward. You understand? In, in in this kind of situation, anybody in government in Nigeria must be the best that Nigeria has to offer for that service. You understand? So I don't think an uh, ex-extremist is the best we can do. You know? Very true. I don't see what is different between ex-extremists and ex-convicts. I'm sorry. Yes. So you can join the conversation. You can call us on 0809-234-5913. 0809-191-3913 uh, You can also call 0151509130 0151509130 Or you can send us a message on WhatsApp on 0809-234-5913 Or you can send us a tweet at Lagos Talks uh, 913 with the hashtag The People's Perspective And we have a call Hello Lagos Talks Hello, good morning Hi, good morning. Uh, good morning, Uncle. Good morning, oh. Welcome yes, to the welcome. TPP. Uh, yeah. Um, Bishop Sandame and Dinova are appreciated. Look, this time is one of the people who are saying that they love what the Magreda was doing there. And, you know, a billion of people are so... Well, you know, actually, this is the fact that they have a I'm talking about why I did that too. So, our problem is we don't want to say the same thing. So, you know one guy, uh, my mother, everybody there for us. Look, this is an eternal plan. We will have embarked on a party process that you should leave. I know how we talk about uh, those before the total game out of the country. 
say, but I miss you, not to be friends. For you, I can't be friends. Take care now. Even if you have a woman selling the grand old for that, for you. I don't know what is wrong, that time when it's been this thing it's all about. I heard that there was money to the hall. Eh, 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 what? Hello? Hello? Well, I think we lost that. Hello, bro. All right, we have another call. Hello, Lagos Talks. To learn on the people's activities. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Hey, hey, So, so you have been calling on our shows. <laughs> hey, because you have been calling on our shows behind my back, Abi. <laughs> we do a radio now. <laughs> we do that stuff. So. <laughs> oh, as as in as Nati or Ryan, that your opening speech, Kel. That we, we don't take anything light because we don't get light. You understand the country? Just mm. <laughs> like I would pay for light, I would not see the light. Mm. Eh? And the money just the, I don't even know where the money they enter. What then I leak it, put it on the beach. You say, no one think, no, we did that side. But part time, <laughs> <laughs> you see this country. Yeah? Just like this, I was talking about this cabana and all these other king calls. It's so strange that these guys, they are there doing their thing. You know, they don't hook them and say, okay, but I can't talk it today. They will come bring them out, try to find ways to do anyhow. Which one is presidency? Which one is president's fish? So now, so Gabari, I mean, go to the other one. I didn't be the spoken for, for, for this uh, president. Eh? They don't speak, so they cover up. So just like, say, uh, uh, what's the name? Trump and all these other, where the guy was trying to address their the address, Biden, all those. They were copying their system, but yes, for this country, now, now, Kaban, if we do that, uh, feeding people, just the uh, rule this country, like, which kind of thing are they found now? Holding our entry administration, so many people die. Even the need to spend paying money to get this administration number. I think the thing is they were like the what the guy, the policy the guy is putting out is very good. How many databases of our our database is outside there? But see, what are they need to do? Are they going to synchronize and to give us good things? Okay, thank you. You know, I mean, I remember when uh, Kemi Adelson was minister of finance, and she had yes, the NYSC yes, scandal, and they did not give her one piece of breathing space. Yeah, I mean, the Until presidency she was forced to resign. protected her a little bit, but not really. You know, in their usual way. But this is another place where women are showing the way. Mm. She resigned. Mm-hmm. But do you think she resigned of her own free will? Or she I don't know whether to... she was forced. I don't know whether, <laughs> but at least she, she did. Resigned. Nobody else has since. Oh, I don't know. Like for something as you know, seemingly as little as that. I mean, NYS people who stay there, but uh, with NYS certificate. Mm-hmm. So for something that is so dangerous as extremism in this world today, especially what we're going through in Nigeria. For something to have been, I mean, not let's let. let Let's not even personalize it. Let's now see ourselves as part of a global family. Mm. The havoc that extremism is wrecking in the world, and not just Islamic extremism. Mm-hmm. Also, the extremism of the imperialists, the capitalists, Yemen, look what's going on in Yemen, mm. Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan. Mm. The atrocity of the Islamists, too, from Libya to Nigeria to Mali to Cameroon to mm. Chad to Niger, just in our own backyard. Let's not even look at what they're doing in the Middle East. Or in Asia, if someone is involved with such a thing, and I can't, listen, if I, if it is proven today that Shion Kuti had ties with extremists ten years ago, I'll be arrested tomorrow. Yeah. Whether I denounce it all day, or because people have died due to what these views, these views mm-hmm. have killed people. It's not as if you know. These views is just some benign view that people share that has no real life effect. Mm. You understand? So, when he was supporting these views, what uh, what action might he have taken to so, to see his views materialize? And he was in his thirties. People that are saying when he was younger, like maybe he was some fourteen year old. No, I don't child. know. <laughs> That's not even part of the argument. What I want to know is, you know, did he do anything to materialize these ideas? If there's, yes, what? There is an alleged document. That yeah, I saw that online, out. but you know, I don't, don't want know. to <laughs> bring up documents <laughs> that I'm not sure. No, you know, the, of the valid, we can't speak on the validity of it, but still, that raises eyebrows as well. You know, because even two, two weeks ago, I think, or last week, I asked on this show, and now I think I'm getting my answer. 
you know. What did you ask? No, I asked a hypothetical question that if a nuclear bomb escaped from America, mm. you know, and it locked on two coordinates, Lagos, Nigeria, or Mecca, Saudi Arabia, there's nothing anybody can do to stop this bomb. It must land. And they asked the president of Nigeria, mm. Muhammadu Buhari, that you, president of Nigeria, Buhari, choose where this bomb will land. Lagos, Nigeria, or Mecca, Saudi Arabia. Where will our president choose? But by them defending this ex extremist, I don't understand this ex extremist thing. Is there every day we'll be coming up with new? <laughs> <coughs> All right, let's take some more calls. Hello, Lagos Talks. I lost that one. Hello, Lagos Talks. Hello, Lagos Talks. Hello. Hi, good morning. Who's speaking, please? Yeah, good morning. My name is uh, Andrew. All right, Andrew. Welcome I'm to the show. I'm calling from uh, Sherry. Okay, Andrew, let's hear you. Yes. What I just want to say is that the government will say what has been their position for signing agreements. The food and the health men are killing people every day. Yet, what is the pronouncement of the government of America? So, as I we keep on saying so many things, but we don't really look at the body language of these people who are going on. So, they are being. They are not extremism. So mentioning the communication minister, it's because we don't know about him. You know how many of them is because I just want to encourage us that we have to open our eyes. Twenty twenty three is around the corner. Let us know the people who put into power. Okay. Thank you very much. Because this is, a, this is a big point he's making. Like how many extremists are in our government? Exactly. Because Mieti Yala, mm. to me, are uh, becoming an extremist organization. Why? Because for their problem, which is cattle rustling, they say they have given guns to their headmen to protect their cows. So this organization is willing to take the lives of human beings to protect, to protect cattle. cattle. You understand? And this is acceptable behavior by this organization. And guess who is the grand patron of this organization? The president of Nigeria. I mean, and I've not heard Buari one day say to me that I do not condone violence. Mm. Especially violence against my citizens mm. as a solution to cattle rustling. No, nothing like that. Anything is happening in Nigeria is the most extreme measure that is taken as solution. What Obasanjo did in Odi Be clear that our lawmakers lack logical sequence each day. I wake up in the morning in my heart. Uh, I know definitely there will be sad news from the leadership of this country. Review the Electoral Act. You refuse. Restructuring. You refuse. Give us a transparent governance. You refuse. Stop
stop embezzling our funds, you refuse. 152.4 trillions of naira looted from our natural resources from 2003 till date, and yet looters still loot, a looter still continues. Uh, what a shame! The ignominious state, these insatiable. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, I understand you're upset. Oh. <laughs> I mean, but see the kind of money you don't see, sir. You need to verse now. You need to verse. No, because you, you need to verse. But, you know, extremism is in many forms. Our leaders are all extremists. Let's just call it spade a spade. I mean, How do you mean? The level of corruption is mm. not to the extreme. Mm. True. I'm telling you, these things are linked psychologically. You know, anybody that can bring this much suffering on their own people, people is capable of out, anything. People are speaking out against police brutality. Shoot them. It's, I see, it is, it, is a, it, is, it is in everything they do, even in their personal lives. The kind of ostentatious houses they build, mm. the extreme lifestyle they live, you know, extreme consumerism, everything has to be stressed to the, because they are, you know, psychologically, this is the behavior of sociopaths. You, you understand? I mean, narcissistic individuals that really, really are closed in. The world is out. Anything that is not inside them is not outside in the world. You understand? So, I, I will see this manifesting itself in different forms in our government. And this Patami issue, you know, this is not a matter of us saying cancel culture. I mean, for Gabba should be bringing cancel culture. I'm surprised. I'm very sure it's some young person on their team. Yeah, of course that. now. <laughs> the Tolo Gulesi is there yeah. now. I'm telling you, it's cancel culture. Cancel culture. Call it cancel culture. I'm sure it's Tolo that that type that is. It's Tolo that type is not Gabba Show himself. Well done, Tolo Gulesi. Hi, good morning. What's your name, please? My name is Peter Monster. When somebody might not try to convince me why I should go to a I have told all I'm going to earn Boko Haram in a short of possible time. And how many years now? Boko Haram is still driving. Give me an army in Nigeria. So I'm not going to do all these things. Maybe like somebody said, I pray Nigeria will use it. I'm not talking to government, I'm talking to Nigerian people. Let us use the law and say to you, Papa, let us say it. The North will not allow it. It's a fact. If they really want love, let's do it equally. They will have peace with the fine. Let's do it equally. We will live in peace, but they will not. It's a fact. I love them. I don't hate anybody. That's why people know me. But let's do things equally. If they really love we, South or East, let them come to the table and do it equally. Alright, thank you very much. Hello, Lagos Talks. 
Hey, Carol. Good morning, Adeyemi. How's it going? I am good. Uh, good morning. You well, just know the voice like that. <laughs> good well, morning, <laughs> Good morning, oh. Uh, good morning, Adeyemi. You see, um, I am flowing with uh, Sheung. I mean, I love his uh, perspectives. But let me add a little bit more. Um, you know, a government should be run and a democratic government should be run with um, opinion of the people because the government is for the people. Basically, we and we are with this government is our, our uh, uh, we are the employers of the government, and so when things comes up, when issues come up, the government must put its ears on the ground and then see where the people, what the people are thinking. This is not happening in our country and that is what really, 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 really gets me mad. Don't close the border. They refused. It took a year. And then they closed the border and opened it, inflation bank. Uh, Sack the, 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 uh, the military chiefs. Nothing was done until everything got back. Then it was sacked. Please, you know, IG, let's stop him. I uh, know you can't do that. It is against the law. It is nobody listens. I think we are running a monarchy, and it scares me that if we do not change this uh, pattern of governance, we will be driving this country into a big wedge, and it will be very, very terrible for all of us because that's our country. Thank you. Adi. Thank you. I mean, that's that's the point. We 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 are ruled by an elite. You know that truly, truly are completely detached. As I said to them, mm. this country is personal. Mm -hmm. You can see it. I said one time we're having a show here, you know, and I brought all the newspapers of that day mm. to show the headline of how this country is so myopic. Mm. Every headline in Nigeria is about one elite or the other, mm. both whether political or business. There is no time you see that the headline news of the day is school children not having school or not having what they need to in class to learn mm. or how mothers are dying in hospital mm. during childbirth in monumental rates that is higher than most countries in the world how our children cannot access pediatricians mm. how there are no ambulances in our cities the things that concern us the people ne you can never see it on headline of any newspaper Every newspaper is the individual tri uh, triumph or travails of the elite of this country. The journalists have bought into it. The pastors have bought into it. The educational institutions have bought into it. That's all everybody discusses. We have forgotten to even now discuss about ourselves. Mm. We gone that it now that we are neglected. Mm. We are neglected, and we've now been programmed to think that the right response to be to neglect is to neglect ourselves even more. So, mm. oh, you don't care, Abby. You, so you don't, don't care, Abby. Abby. Okay, we will show you that we, the people, we don't care even more than you. I mean, and we are the ones, you know, um, receiving the brunt of all this, you know, I don't care reason mm. that we participate in. Because, you know, we think that one day we will get into the level that, you know, we'll be able to dictate, you know, or we'll, we will be able to benefit from this this what is going i mean look at tpp for example i've been doing this show now for over almost two years been, no almost one year sorry <laughs> it'll be one year in but you know i'll be having fun so time is flying <laughs> it'll be one year in august i think and i don't think anybody from ikoyi or vi has ever called called in speaking of ikoyi when so, I, did you see that video uh, protect ikoyi now <laughs> I said, the rich people in this country, you are delusional. Oh I saw the video. I was laughing. And I was like, like I almost somebody died somebody laughing. Somebody thought of this idea. Somebody went and shot it. Did voiceover, produced it. And you said, true, let us post it. Actually, he also filmed, he filmed every day. With such seriousness. Our, did you hear the soundtrack? <laughs> you he us. Do, do, do. Our, our, our serenity. <laughs> our, our serenity is being... Is being uh, assaulted by these peasants. Yeah. Ikoyi is not for peasants. So it is miscreants. We, this is Banana <laughs> Island for crying out loud. 
<laughs> Listen, they are coming to your bedroom. Maybe they are still in your junk room. Your, your bedroom. <laughs> Even people think that hiding away in this your areas, mm. you know, that, that is that Nigeria is now good. you from the reality of Nigeria. Don't worry. <laughs> I've told you, see, if you know you don't have private jet, mm. stop this game. Mm -hmm. Turn your side to the people's side. Because when the time comes, I swear down, you'll be the ones to pay. It'll touch you. Listen, that's the bad thing about oppressors. The, the real oppressors all have private jets. Mm -hmm. And boats. Yeah. So the ones that cannot get to their private jets will get to their boat. <laughs> and they're always on standby. Uh -huh. But you see all of you that have to, and they have a helicopter to go to the airport. Mm -hmm. But you see all of you that have to pass road, that want to book flight. Airport will be closed. Nobody will feel tired. Not You can't do nada. You have to after explaining. I'm not even gonna say hey, hey. <laughs> you are not in government. <laughs> you are a doctor. Oh, my sister died in the hospital because she didn't have two thousand five hundred naira to buy a card. You are a doctor. My child died in the hospital because this one. Mm. I'm a university teacher, lecturer. Ah, they they rusticate my son because he couldn't bribe lecturer for marks. Mm -hmm. My daughter was raped by one lecturer. Mm. This one called this in the school. What did you do? We are all guilty. We are the professionals of this country. Mm. Is we the musicians that even pity the most? But it has not happened. They are already holding us everywhere for money that we don't even have. As a musician, you cannot come outside from your house and say you don't have money. <laughs> what they do you mean? They will beat I you. I see you on my TV. You tell me you don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, will, they will beat you. I mean, when I see some of my colleagues with with Mopo and all that, I criticize them, but I also understand why. Mm. You know, I understand why. But Nigerians are not that dangerous. That you need more pole to protect yourself from there. Like four heavily armed uh, people. Uh, you know, <laughs> we are all we professionals are all oppressors in waiting. That's the and that's the main issue of Nigeria. Mm. That's Patami. That's you know many people that are working close to Patami now as professionals, whether as aides, whether as will not be able to tell you, oh guy, you have to resign. Mm. You can't tell him. You can't tell him the truth. Right, let's like read some tweets. You know? Uh, this is at Mangboye 007. If the presidency can stand behind a minister of communication, it shows that the fight against banditry, Boko Haram, and kidnapping is dead and buried in the grave. This president stood with Abacha now. Did you say Abacha is not a criminal? Have you forgotten that whole mm -hmm. debacle he had when he was doing this campaign? Because you know he was in, well, he was PTF. Mm. He was in PTF. You know, when. He served under a bacha. Yeah. You know, so there's no these are not men with real humanistic principles. Their principles are based on power, not human uh not humanity. So do you think the problem is that uh, we as Nigerians forgot you know where they were coming from or exactly. they did a good job in laundering their images? No, mm -mm. We as Nigeria begin to see, begin to see ourselves in them. We bought the we fell for the okie doke. We bought the narrative that if it be you, don't rock the boat because if it be you, you can be next. So that's why so many stories of grass to grace in Nigeria, so many testimonies. That's why they give so many visible handouts. You know, every time they pick one of us to elevate, they do fanfare, this one, this one, what is here. But to do what? It's like gambling. Every time one person wins in the gambling house, the gambling house is propose the winner. Yeah. No, they'll not show you the one million people that, that lost, lost that week <laughs> whose lives have been destroyed that week you understand mm. so that's what they've been doing to us you know always you know they see us as animals but among animals there's also pets mm. the pet has allowed to come close mm. so we'll show you the pet you'll see ah one day i'll be a pet one day I'll... and we do it every generation 90 percent of us fall fall away into the into abject poverty mm. you know new friends will come from the rural area all the ones they've used from the cities they go back to the rural area, back to the abject poverty that they've come from. You know, how many how many people like that? So that's the game that we play. That's the game that we play. That's why you see people working in banks, willing to lend that money that is not even their own. They do not even see share of, but they want to keep their head down. One day they will be in the position of the person giving the order to lend that money. You understand? So many co career positions in Nigeria is based on how much damage it can cause to this country. Look at the civil servants. 
of this country. How can Nigeria be like this without the complicit help of our civil servants who carry the files and sign it and all that? Mm. So we are all involved. We are all involved. You know, no corrupt politician is going anywhere to carry files for himself and sign mm. and draft mm. all these lies. Yeah. It's we the, because and we do it because we believe one day to be our turn. And we are watching it eat up millions of our brothers and sisters every day. That's why none of us can say we are not guilty when the time comes. That's why the time to change is now. Not like Patami, after they've caught you. Mm. You now want to say you have denounced view. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. Let us change now before the people rise up. Because they don't have change, it's a lie. That they will not hear. <laughs> <laughs> they, they will not hear. They will say, you are saying you change because, <laughs> because, you because we are now here. You have changed. <laughs> Uh, Pantami should be investigated. Whether in no repents, whether not sleep of dog, whether he was young, he should be investigated. But we are not fighting in insurgency to me. The guy is an asset to the north. Interesting. Uh, let's see if we have any more messages. He's an asset to the northern elites, please. Because when people say the north, I think when people take the north, because they forget that the people suffering, the people of the north are suffering more than us. Yeah, they are. They're not involved in this game. Mm -hmm. And we've not taken the time to know them, to speak to them. When I speak to northerners, no, normal people, citizens of this country, that we look down on. Many of these boys, I was even watching something on BBC yesterday. One guy that was uh, all these um, scavengers, mm. he had a master's degree. Mm. I'm telling you. Well, you never see me writing, but how many people? I went to Kaba in Kogi State. Mm. I went to give a talk in a motorcycle park. You know, when I started the talk, I thought I was talking to Okada riders. By the end of the talk, I thought I was talking to 60% first degree holders. But they can't not be waking up at home and looking at their mother in the face at the age of 24, 25, looking at your father in the face. So they buy a machine, they also for streets. First degree holders. Do you know how many people have written theses in this country, master's degree, um, their theses in this country, you know, their projects that have Nigeria solution in them? Submitted it to the university, but the educational institutions and the political institutions are not linked. Mm -hmm. They and just discard what, what, it. They discard it and they use it and wrap to you the next day. <laughs> God, God. Uh, this is from Sean from Dubai. He says, I would like to ask you guys a question in the studio. My question goes like this If the country is properly fixed by the government in a good way, which is uh, good roads, good electricity, job employment, would anyone like to travel to another man's country to make a living? No, right? Because of the things, because of things are not well properly fixed in the country, and that's why I find myself in another man's land in Dubai. The Nigerian government should fix all these things and see maybe Nigerian youth will not be the best in the whole world in terms of the working strategy. You answered your question yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true now. It's true. It's true. I mean, these uh, these people just need to. I, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I, and is it not enough? What do they need again? What do, you, what do you need? Majority of the country still love you. All the bad things people do, they see hear you when they see you. They see. Just change. How hard it is. How hard is it? Sorry, you have all these things. I'm, how much? I'm busy the money. They have money. What is it that you people need? Again? Like to be honest, I always just wonder. Like, how do they think things are going to just play out if they actually just let things work the way they should? But the people that me I hate the most, yeah. The people me I hate the most are the friends <laughs> of their children. People that make friends with such people are the ones me I, I can't stand. Why? I can't stand. It. Why? You just say that you those ones, they just don't care about anything. I mean, I'm sure these Patami students now still have friends. It's true. They still have friends. They still want to play with them. You don't know them like me. I can't get out. Okay, let's take about two more calls before we wrap up for today. Hello, Lagos Talks. Hello. Hi. Good morning. Um, this is a bad man for two days. All right, and welcome to the show. Let's hear you. Uh, How are you doing, my brother? I greet you, I greet you. This is the day your father is doing. Now, I for the now, I'm a person, I swear. Now, there is two men of God. Let me talk the truth. I used to play the song every day when I wake up in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night. <laughs> oh, we lost that one. Hello, Lagos. Yeah. Hi, good 
No, I have passed my way. Okay, all right. What's your name? My name is Uche. Okay. Hi, Uche. Okay, Baba. Where are you calling us from? Um, from from Ojiolaba. Ah, you did, my brother. I did, Baba. Yeah, see, um, this country. So I used to tell if you that they uh, have fired this country. Someone says something at the age of fifty nine. They are saying he's a teenager. <laughs> he said, I, I'm still you. I have three kids. My brother. Take you to I have three kids. Hmm. Does that mean that whatever thing I did or said now should be referred to me as a teenager? You be baby. Oh, you are a baby. Yeah. You are a young I baby. <laughs> you are a young baby. Hey, <laughs> my brother. Oh, I lost that one. It's twelve o'clock now. Wow, time uh, really. Flew. Where you are talking? <laughs> where you are talking true? <laughs> where you are talking true? Time starts to fly. All right, so would you like to say anything to wrap up? Yes. Yeah, so as usual, you know, uh, we have to be a part of the solution of this country. All of us is now our yeah. duty. This is the liberation generation and Lagos drivers. More than giving a safe road, I beg. Ah. No, Lagos drivers, when they are driving, they, they give roads. Oh. So I always beg them every Friday. <laughs> Say, Lagos drivers, I beg. Thank you. More than giving a safe road. Thank you. We need them.